a thing mo the 19 year old sensation now Addo, it doesn't matter how many records you've broken in the past it doesn't matter who you just signed a big contract with you have to start the race in the right lane right <laughs> this is an experience on display she goes oh i'm in oh no i'm in that's hannah green's basket <laughs> she was starting lane six the biggest prodigy i think since allison felix and don't think this Oregon crowd doesn't know it. There are a lot of collegians that are thrilled that she went pro yesterday. World indoor, world junior record in the indoor 800, American junior record, and the NCAA record in the outdoor 800, and numerous other records that she has just taken a red pen to the entire collegiate season. She's one and done at AM. Mo is up against uh, Alicia Williams, Brenda Martinez, Schlachtenhafen, Sammy Watson, Nikki Hiltz. Hannah Green, we saw that there with uh, the mix-up in lanes. And here is Brenda Martinez. Silver medalist in 2013. In 2016, she made the team in the 1500 after getting tangled up. But what's been really difficult for Brenda is in 2016, she was dealing with depression. But last September, she tested positive for a masking agent that was on the banned substance list. She sent her pill bottle into the lab for analysis, and it turned out that her antidepressant was contaminated with a diuretic that was not listed on the label. She was cleared of any wrongdoing by the anti-doping authorities, but the episode forced her to go public, and it's just been really tumultuous for her. But she says she's back and she's ready to qualify for Tokyo. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Every individual deals with mental health issues differently. She was forced to come out to say that to defend herself. And we have to remind the audience that although a thing Mo is running the 800 here. She has been running the 400 for the entire ladder collegiate season. So it means that she's coming here with some very fresh legs. And I selfishly wanted to see her in that 400 meter lead, but she posted on her Instagram. She said, Miss 800 called and said she missed me. And I answered that call. <laughs> and the thing most, it's second at the moment. Do you remember when we were all at Ocean Breeze, Staten Island, back in 20, what was it, 20, 19. Uh, 2019? That's when we first saw a thing, Mo, as a high schooler. She's from Trenton, New Jersey, and she blew everyone, and she blew us away there. And her career has only gone upwards at a very steep trajectory. Yep, her parents moved here from Sudan two decades ago, so she grew up in New Jersey. And if you followed high school track and field at all, You've been paying attention to her for a long time. A bona fide prodigy, as I said. One to go. Nikki Hiltz leads. And then it's a thing, Mo. Hannah Green with hip number seven, all in green. And a slower first lap for the ladies in this round, which is easy running for a thing, Mo. Hiltz, who, better known as a 1,500-meter runner, will have the strength, but will be hard to keep pace with the youngster, a thing, Mo. Brenna Detra there. Here comes... Here comes Brenda Martinez on the extreme left. I think Mo had a sub-50 split this season indoors. The fastest split ever in NCAA championship history, so we know if there's anybody that has the speed to get home here, it's the young lady in front. Helen Schlachtenhafen in the black, white, and red. Schlachtenhafen's moved into second. Here comes Hannah Green, all in green. A thing Mo leads. Top two go through to the semis. Hannah Green has got by Schlachtenhafen. It's a thing Mo and Hannah Green auto qualifying for the semi in the women's 800. Two minutes flat point seven zero. She turned 19 last week. You can't tell by the way she ran this heat. Completely in control. I spoke with her and she said this is her favorite event. There was no way she was going to be coming to these Olympic trials and not competing in her favorite event. Everything that she's been doing up to this point, running 400s, dominating the 400 at the collegiate level, was preparing her for moments like this. And to see the poise and control on this youngster, she looks like she's been doing this for so long, looking up at the board, seeing where she's at, and just able to really cruise it in. In the final phases of this 800, I am so excited to watch this young superstar as she continues to develop. There is no move that was going to be made by anybody in this field that a thing Mo was not ready for. So the youngster is on to the semifinal round, taking Hannah Green with her as the two automatic qualifiers out of this heat. Quite fitting, isn't it? First race as a professional for a thing Mo. She's victorious. 
and she's with Lewis Johnson. Lewis? All right, so Miss 800 called you back, and what did she say? She said, let's get back to it, young lady. <laughs> the 400 was fun, but it's time to go, you know. Time to make a team this 800. Yeah, so you ran so many 400s earlier in the year, but how yeah. comfortable do you feel in this? And what are your thoughts about your progress here as you move through the rounds? Yeah, I mean, getting back to it for the first time kind of felt like, oh, wow, we're back. But I think as the rounds progress, it'll feel even better and better. But I mean, I'm just happy to be here and, you know, it's time to get moving. So. All right, awesome. good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, let's check in on the field events and Paul Swangard. Hey, Paul. Haywood Field looking fantastic on this evening of day five of competition for the U.S. Olympic track and field trials.